Good morning, my Abundant Life Amazing Grace friends. Um, today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about my own personal struggles. Um, I have a long established history with depression. And you may not believe that necessarily because most of my my videos are about um, joy and praying and they're very positive and uplifting and that is true of me I'm an encourager it's a gift I have but I also have the other side which happens to be that I have a battle with depression um, I'm going to give full disclosure in the fact that um, for about 15 years I suffered from depression without um, having any treatment whatsoever I prayed and I asked for deliverance and I believed it was totally a spiritual thing and that's what I was told by other Christians and so um, I just tried to reach out to God and have him heal me um, at one point God spoke to me about my, my depression and and what he told me was it wasn't of me it was an affliction upon me and I likened it to um, a thorn in my flesh, kind of like Paul was talking about in the Bible, that he prayed and prayed and it wouldn't go away. And I believe that it helps me, God uses it, I should say, for me to rely on him. Because I can't get too full of myself <laughs> as a Christian, because at times and times I'm really stricken. And um, I don't have a lot of hope and I don't have, uh, you know, that the faith and the, the joy that I should have. And um, so recently in the last probably 10, 15 years, and especially since my um, my injury at work that I'm a registered nurse and was injured at work and I hurt my neck and my back. And it's caused me to lose that career, that career path that I had, that God had put me on. And so um, I have that injury and I take a medication called Cymbalta, which helps with not only with pain, but with depression. And I used to take very high doses of it, but now I just take a normal low dose of it. So um, I've been so grateful the past few months. I went through a very dark and deep depression uh, about a year and a half ago because of situations in my life. Um, I had a separation in my marriage. I, my daughter and my granddaughter who had lived with me for five years, my daughter got married and moved away and praise. I mean, that was a blessing for them, but it was a dark period for me. I had lost them and it was just happened overnight. It was a sudden thing. So um, I've been through a lot of depression in recent years and I noticed that um, last probably three or four months I hadn't had depression and I was like okay Kate, thank you Lord you're beginning to heal me and I'm not battling this depression has as I had on a constant basis and then this weekend I was having a great wonderful weekend um, went out with friends and we just had a wonderful time and then suddenly um, Sunday afternoon I got a phone call or text and um, found out that Christmas wasn't going to work out the way I thought it was. I had thought my kids were going to come here, but for whatever, for reasons that are, are logical, because my daughter's having a baby, um, very logical, that it was going to be to where I have to go to them. And I didn't know if that could happen because the way my husband's work is, um, he, he's an officer, so he only gets to pick vacation once a year basically and so I was like oh you know this may not happen it's gonna have to be a miracle from the Lord and depression just hit me and all the wounds from last the first Christmas I had ever of my adult life without my kids or even my parents um, was last Christmas day and it was so sad and then my husband got sick on top of it and I felt we ended up traveling most of the day because he was so sick and um, it was a really hard Christmas. It was a really sad Christmas day. And all those wounds came up again and depression just flooded in to my life. And I couldn't stop crying. Um, I 
have um, with these with depression sometimes um, I think depression can be spiritually a spiritual attack I believe that I think it can be a physical problem which is one of my things I have which is a physical chemical imbalance and I also believe it can be a physical attack so I was feeling attacked on every one of those like I felt I was already you know having some down times because I hadn't been feeling so good physically and then I feel like I was attacked spiritually and and um, emotionally all those areas and um, what I want to say is because I, I started feeling really bad that I was depressed I thought oh Lord here we go again you know I've let you down I'm depressed again and I don't that's not what Lord the Lord had intended for me you know, he doesn't want me to feel bad about what I'm going through. He just needs me to go to him to help me out of what I'm going through. And so um, I, had to, I want to say to anyone out there, if you've experienced depression, there is help and hope for you. There's always hope in Jesus Christ. If you see any joy in me, any light in me, it's from the Lord. There is hope through medication and through the medical community if it's a physical problem. And there is hope for emotional healing if you need counseling, Christian counseling, something like that. So there's lots of hope. Never give up hope. Never quit fighting. God is with you and he will help you conquer. Um, so I want to give you guys that hope. And I am feeling better today. I did find out that God had already done the miracle for me that I had needed. Um, I, My husband already has the time off right before Christmas. Not Christmas Day, but he has the time off right before Christmas. And he had completely forgot about it. And I had been crying for days. And he would forgotten about it. And I looked and I'm like, hey, it, it says you have vacation. Is this true? And he did. So God has already made a way for me to be with my kids and I praise him for that but um, if you're feeling depressed um, I want you to have hope and um, in this book Beth Moore um, praying God's word it's about breaking through um, spiritual strongholds and I do believe depression can be a spiritual stronghold um, I don't think it's only spiritually but I do believe depression God um, Satan can attack us in our weaknesses. Of course, he's going to go for that. It's the easy way. And there's a chink in my armor where I have a mental, I like a chemical imbalance, a physical chemical imbalance. And so there's that little chink in my armor. And he knows it and he comes after it. Um, and Beth Moore was talking about spiritual um, depression, a spiritual stronghold. And one of the things she says here, I loved. She said, God, because she talks about her short battles with depression. She hasn't had long-term depression like myself, but um, she has had enough where she understands and sympathizes and really feels for people who do. So she, in here, she said, never miss a single tear of oppression. This isn't really what I was planning on reading. I'm sorry. Um, let me look here. Here it is. <laughs> um, this is where she said, I love this. And uh, it was just one page back. I got one page off. Take heart, men and women of faith. Far more godly and effect effective than I ever will be also fought depression. Martin Luther, Charles Spurgeon are just two. Remember, the defeat is not in the fighting depression, but in the giving in. That has spoke volumes to me when I read that today. Thank you, my friend Terry, who gave me the book. God is with you. He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. Here is a um, scripture that's made to be personalized 
um, Psalms 42, 5 through 6. She personalized the scripture in this book. Why are you downcast, O my soul? Why so disturbed within me? I choose to put my hope in you, God, for I will yet praise you, my Savior, my God. My soul is downcast within me, therefore I will remember you. Let's remember that even in this time where you might not be afflicted with depression, you might have something else. I don't know. There's lots of addictions and, and um, mental conditions and um, physical conditions. I also have affliction of pain in my leg. I would ask you guys to please pray for me because I believe that as I go out and, and share God's word and share hope in the Lord, that Satan is not happy with me and he'll attack me and um, pray that I feel better at this from this weekend. It's, I'm still physically feeling really weak. And um, I also go ask you to pray for my leg and my back because I am physically inflicted with severe pain. It is getting better, praise the Lord. I have asked you guys to pray and it is getting better, about 50% better, it's amazing. And God just keeps telling me to ask for prayer. And that, so that's what I'm doing. I'm just asking for prayer. If you have prayer requests, please, please, please let me know. I would love to pray for you. If you can't, don't want to share it publicly below so we can all pray for you, please just pray. send me a prayer request in private. I would love to pray for you. Um, I feel like I have a ministry of prayer. And I love to pray for people because I know that God answers prayer. All right. I love you. I'm going long this time. Sorry, but this is something that's near and dear to me because it's something that happens to me. And um, please, if you don't experience depression, don't judge. I'm glad that you don't experience it <laughs> and praise the Lord that you don't have it. And um, don't judge for others. Pray for them. Pray for deliverance. Pray for healing. And um, God be with you all. Love you. See you next time. Love you, friends and neighbors, and abundant life, amazing grace.